So welcome back. Uh, I know I've said in a lot of other videos that I'm going to walk through kind of getting some of these light kits and stuff going for you. And I want to walk you through it uh, step by step. Um, from start to finish, it's, it's going to be like a spoon feed. Uh, as detailed as I can possibly get because I know like whenever I started out doing this, it took me quite a bit. I, uh, quite a bit of research and studying and uh, a lot of Google searches and and things like that. So what I want to be able to do with you is get you totally up to speed where I'm at right now uh, with the information that I've already uh, gone through. So and I have you know quite a bit of different things to hit, but mostly I'm going to just cover things that I'm doing on the light kit, and may later get into some other things too, like uh, controlling uh, motors with uh, with uh, picks. Uh, and servos. Uh, this is really simple to do. Once once you get your basic programs set in and get uh, get your breadboard set up for different things, you, it's real easy to do. Um, it's just a matter of getting just the the basic necessities in place and getting a few of the things together that you need to start studying and playing with it. Uh, and, and once you get past this this hurdle here, the rest of it's easy. It's really pretty easy, and, and I'll be able to walk you through uh, with these videos, uh, uh, programming it, setting it up, wiring it, uh, setting times, and all kinds of different things. So, so hopefully, I'll be able to put enough down here to be able to help you out with this. And if you have any questions, make sure and leave some feedback. Uh, send me mail, uh, anything, and I'll help you with it. Sure, surely, uh, it's like I say, it's uh, it's it's just kind of hard to get started, but once you get started, it's it's a breeze. So, so again, you know, I'm going to try and cover at least, uh, you know, getting the light kit working for you. Uh, I'll walk you through downloading the software, what software you need, and some of it you can actually do right now if. Uh, you wanted to get out and download some of it you can actually compile some programs and uh, play with the software see if you like it and uh, just go from there but anyway here we go in this video series I'm gonna cover several things I'd like to try and get you guys people that are interested caught up to where I'm at and and I think this will really help uh, and I and I hope that you know you'll be able to share your insights and in going through this process as well. Um, what we're going to cover though is we're going to cover uh, downloading and installing uh, MP Lab with High Tech C. We're going to go over the Picket Programmer, uh, what what to buy, what to buy, Picks. The two that I'm using are the 12 f 683 and 690. We're going to go over those, where to pick those up. Uh, breadboards with jumpers, prototype boards, uh, so you have somewhere to put your uh, newly built circuits with your uh, picks. We're going to go over some general components that you'll need to build your circuits. And uh, on the uh, 12S683 test board, we're going to build a test board uh, using a breadboard and LEDs. We're going to write our C, our C program for 12S683 and may cover also a little bit uh, on the 16S690. And we're going to save our compile C program to a 12S683 on our newly built test board in, in another video. And in this video, part one, we're going to cover installing MP Lab High Tech C and uh, go over the uh, picket programmer. Part two will cover picks, breadboards, prototype boards, and components. You just go to Google and uh, type in MP Lab. And what we're looking for is uh, the uh, microchips website. That's right here. You can see it usually comes up the first link, but look for microchips. So we get in here and uh, take this opportunity to install a new version, which I don't normally do this kind of stuff, but since I'm going to have to install it anyway, I, I imagine I guess I'll go ahead and do that. So 
So right here, uh, this is MP Lab version 8.87. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna click that, and uh, I'm gonna save this. Actually, I've done this already once, but I'm gonna do it again. So yeah, and so that's gonna that's gonna download. It's gonna take a couple of minutes. So I'll be back in here in just a second. Alright, so I got MP Lab downloaded here. Got the file. I'm just going to double click this. And it uh, brings up uh, WinRAR. I'm just going to pick these files out, drop them into my folder here. Alright, then uh, you want to run this in, as an administrator, so you just you click it. Now, I'm using. Uh, Vista 64 I believe and uh, this doesn't like uh, installing without administrators so so I've got my setup program here and I'm just gonna right click that and then I'm gonna tell it to run as an administrator and I'll click allow here and what I'm waiting for here is uh, the uh, Install shield. And brings up uh, MP Lab, and uh, I'm gonna click next. And I'm gonna accept the terms and license agreement. And click next, and I'm gonna do a complete install. And I'll just go with the default. And then they accept the terms and agreement. And I'll do it again. And I'll say next. And it's going to go through this install program for a little bit here. And uh, I'll be back in a second. Alright, and after it works through all of its uh, business, it's going to come up with the a restart. I'm assuming it's going to do this on everybody's computer, but you never know really. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to click finish, which is going to restart my computer. And I'll be back in a second. And after the restart, I come up with this uh, MP Lab IDE document select, and I'm just going to click close this. I could read through some of this. There's some good data in here, good stuff you could probably read through, but you can get back to this later if you want. So I'm just going to close this. All right, and after I've closed that, I'll get to my main screen here, and and uh, you'll see I have uh, MP Lab here. And I'm going to do 8.87. I actually have two. This is a previous installation. This is my new version here, so I'm going to double click that. And it's going to bring up uh, MP Lab here, first launch. It may, I'm not real sure, when you first launch MP Lab on your computer, it may come up with some other options or something, but maybe it's not doing that on mine, I don't know. But uh, just kind of work through, you know, if you, if you run across something there. Uh, if uh, you're not sure, you know, send me an email, maybe I can, I can help you with that. Uh, so what you have here is you've got MP Lab. What, what we want to do is we want to get to a point where we can do some programming. So first thing you're going to do is start a start a new project. And, and we do that up here. We go to project. And uh, just go to project wizard. This thing works great. And so I've got my project wizard here. I'm going to click next. And then depending on the, the picks that you're, that you're using, uh, uh, I use 683, the 12F683, and the 12F69, and there's quite a few picks in here that you can choose from. So uh, I'm just going to say 683 and say next. And then I, if I create a new project file, just uh, just browse to uh, where I want to put that. And this is a uh, I'm going to call it new project demo and just say save and then hit next 
and there's no other files that I need to add in here so uh, I'm just gonna say next and then finish and then it starts me up with a new uh, new project the first thing you'll do is you're gonna add a C file uh, which is a programming file to this so the first the first thing we do once in our new project is we'll right click up here on this uh, new project or whatever the name whatever you named your project right click there and say add new file and then we'll call this whatever we want to call it and we'll call it a what we, new project demo dot C and say save okay and then you come up with your your new project demo C programming space here and this is where you enter in your uh, your text your your program and uh, and then you want to save you do file save now that's saved now now you're sitting here I have another project here that I'm gonna open this, which is the tutorial that we're working on now you should have a uh, same look that I have here and uh, this is the program we're gonna we're gonna put in actually I might break this down a little bit more but Alright, so that's the uh, installation and uh, getting started with uh, MP Lab, and uh, we'll move on over to uh, talking about the picket. Uh, so I'm going to close MP Lab, and uh, get into the picket. The picket too comes in a package with several different things now. You, you'll find different options for this, and, and I believe, I, I might have a picture if I do, I'll throw it up here. Um, but you'll find that it, it comes in a package deal. It comes with uh, MP Lab and uh, a high, I think it's High Tech C. Uh, let's see what I got here. Yeah, see, this is a, a MP Lab. You'll find the package that's produced by Microchip. Um, and, and it's a complete package and you'll see you'll see this package it's a plastic package it has your your uh, uh, picket to and it. it has the software and there's several different versions of the packaging there's there's a, another gentleman uh, that sells let me see if I can find uh, okay I bought this picket from uh, Joshua one systems and, and he has uh, a full package that you can get um, that includes several different things like uh, uh, ZIF sockets. Um, now, I thought in the beginning that I would be able to use these ZIF sockets. Uh, but quite honestly, I have yet to use one. And, and it's because I set everything up on here and it's much easier to deal with. Ultimately, once you set it up on here, if you set this up to program, you'll put your pick in here, and then uh, your your picket two can plug in here, and then you can run jumpers off of uh, these to the board or electronics that you're you're dealing with. So, the you know you're, you're still going to wind up on a board anyway. So, uh, again, I, I have yet to to use these, but it comes with comes with quite a few different ones uh, and you may consider using these I don't know maybe you have other projects that you want to use with these but uh, as you can see they're uh, uh, J1SYS you can see uh, J1SYS right here uh, and you can pick up a Picket 2 uh, programmer and these ZIF sockets with that and it comes with everything that you need software and, and everything so uh, and something else too he sends you uh, cables this is actually part of that kit as well you've probably seen this in my videos uh, this cable here now you could make one of these just as easy it's not a problem and if you decide not to make one of these 
then you can still use just a, a uh, uh, header pin and and in the bottom let's see if I can get this and in the bottom of the uh, picket two you have uh, your connectors here and and what you can do is you could just plug your picket or plug your header into your picket two like so and and this is space just perfect for your uh, breadboard so you can plug it directly into your breadboard this way here uh, to me uh, the the picket too in this setup is just too it's too cumbersome it's in the way so I really like having it set off to the side uh, by using a, a, a cable here and so to acquire a picket two, uh, now you have a couple of options. You, you can get a picket two, or you can get a picket three. I don't know anything about a picket three. I don't know the differences. I do know that I read some reviews about the picket uh, three uh, before I purchased these, and and I wound up buying a picket two just simply because of some of the issues that I heard about about the picket three. So. Uh, this is entirely up to you. The picket three may work just fine, um, but uh, let's take a look over here. We'll uh, look up uh, picket two. And the first one we come up with is that uh, microchip. And of course they show picket three, uh, but I'm uh, like I say, I'm if if you're planning on following me, you might want to try and get the same thing. These basically do the same thing. Uh, if you're just getting started in this, I don't think it really is going to matter until you know you get some of these 256 pin picks or whatever. But for these small picks, uh, it's no big deal to to use the uh, uh, pick it to so what uh, what they have here they have a few different options here and what I would suggest is this picket two starter kit now I'm not sure if uh, you're able to get this without the demo board you might want the demo board but uh, uh, for the light kit for our model railroads and what I'm working on here I've never used a demo board I didn't get a demo board with my picket too, but it may save you if you just want to play with some of this. It may save you having to uh, get your breadboards and and uh, your jumper cables and things like that. You could very possibly do some of this uh, playing around with this picket on this demo board. However, uh, in the future, you're going to want to, if you're planning on uh, implementing this on your railroad. You'll, you'll more than likely need to, to get into uh, breadboarding because you're, you're going to be experimenting with different things and setting up a breadboard very specific for a building. And, and I don't see where you're able to really do this for, uh, or with a uh, demo board. So again, it's, it's optional, you know, what you, what you want to do here. But my suggestion is, is, is if you're able to save a few dollars and get a picket to without a demo board go that route because all you need is the picket to uh, you got MP lab you, you get your picket to uh, and that's really all you need now like I say it's entirely up to you whether you want the demo board or not so this is the one I would recommend the picket to starter kit and it actually comes with one 16 at uh, 690 which is what we use on the on the kit so it might be a good choice so that's a picket two 